ODNX is a community representative body. It started uh, about 22 years ago when uh, the councils around here were merged into the Majura Rural City Council. Uh, and with that, we were worried that OU might lose a voice in a bigger population. So OU and Inc. were started to, to provide that voice of the community through to council and other industries, businesses and the like, uh, and including Ma Mallee Track Health Services and things like that. We're really proud with the heritage of, of what OU and Inc. and the previous committees have done. Uh, they've certainly given us a good footing uh, from the past of actually being able to deliver on their projects and, and that, that has progressed to us being having that confidence and, and being able to get more notoriety when we actually we, we try a project. People know who we are and they know that we're, we're pretty good at getting things delivered. We've got probably three key projects at the moment. Uh, the, the, the one that's getting close to finalisation to this, this stage at least is the Oyen Lake, uh, the Oyen Community Gym Project. Uh, the other major one we're looking at at the moment is St Raja Mallee Port Link, which is an intermodal hub that we're looking at, at building just outside of town to, to get freight uh, transferred there, I suppose, to, to get it to port in the most efficient way. So that's that's a very big project and we're, we're working very hard on that one. Uh, but it, it goes through to other things like the Mallee Root Festival and things like that that we all help support. We rely very heavily on volunteers and, and contacts from the, the community in the past that may have moved away. So in, in the area we have about a 40 to 50 per cent uh, volunteer rate uh, within the population. So that's something that's very community minded and based. So we have a lot of people wanting to live in a better place, wanting to improve the facilities we've got all the time to help the community grow and, and be, a, be a happier place to live effectively. So that, that community involvement and people actually putting themselves out to actually deliver on those projects and putting their hand up to help, that's probably the thing that we see that, that's different to a lot of other communities. They, they have volunteerism but probably not quite to the same extent that AEM does.